All right, welcome to Space Engineers. I'm just laying in bed. I've uh, been coughing my brains out lately, so if I start coughing on audio, that's apologies. That's what happens when you start getting older. Where am I? And why is my frame rate so trash? Oh, we're on, uh, on zero 01 level of Casablanca. Uh, World War II fans will pretty much already know what this thing already is, just from the name. <coughs> well, I got a big flat surface there. That's my destroyer over there. Uh, I'm playing on the Sparks of the Future map. I created in my multiplayer stuff that I was messing with. <coughs> Alright, let's take a look and see what in the world are we doing here? What is going on? I downloaded a carrier off of the Steam Workshop the G29 carrier. I saw it by watching one of Luca the Guide's uh, videos. She did a critical ship review of it and she liked it quite a bit actually. So this, <coughs> a little bit of lens flare action for all my J.J. Abrams fans. Uh, this is a carrier and I think I had the island on the wrong side. That of the bridge is facing the wrong direction. I'm not sure. Anywho, this is my ship. That's the G29 carrier. I got mods. I got the spicy meatball. That thing is awesome. <coughs> so, yeah, I took my Gamma Dracona station. I blueprinted it just in case the server got reset because it happens every so often. And I've pasted it here in single player, so I don't have to worry about server lag and all that other fun stuff. I'm playing this locally. <coughs> I pasted this ship in. I could have uh, pasted the blueprint and had build and repair go nuts trying to make it. But I pasted it instead. And why aren't you docked? Sir, you're not docked right now. You're just kind of sitting there. Anywho, this is a great example of making a, well, I would say low PCU, but it's 20,000 PCU. It's not low. It's, uh, but it's within server limits, and it's all stock pieces, except for the build and repair units I tacked on as an afterthought after I put it in here, because I have build and repair here. This is my attempt of using some of the design techniques that I saw in this ship, and saying, hmm, could I do something like that, and what would it turn out looking like? Well, it looks like a boring gray slab. Well, mostly gray. I got, I've been slowly adding some detail work to it and everything else for it. Unlike this carrier, <coughs> it does not have a single drill on it. This does. It has, on a 1x5 modded piston, it goes up pretty far. So you can sit there and find a nice ice spawn on an asteroid somewhere and go to town trying to refill your hydrogen tanks because it's got a lot of hydrogen tanks on this on this guy. I think it's 16 hydrogen tanks. So it takes forever and a day to fill up, even with all the O2H2 generators, so I might add more on it. But this thing's already sitting at like, <coughs> gosh, close to 30,000 PCU, which means, well, mods aside, it's already not server friendly unless you pull resources together, and why would you do that? Let's actually look, see what the PCU count is. Oh, it's over. Yeah, 32,000 now. The spicy meatballs alone are 1,200 PCU, I think. But they spit out so much DACA, it's not even... Man, more DACA, more DACA now. I should paint them red. You know, space orcs. This is 20,000 PCU by itself. You have 5,000 to spare on making a small grid uh, ice miner or something so you can support the carrier. Or your buddies, you know, smaller ships, they can support it. This is a wonderfully laid out ship. So I took some design cues off of this, except the island's facing the wrong way. That's actually, this is actually facing towards the bow because I have red lights for the port side on the left side, so that means we're going front. And this carrier, <coughs> that island's on the starboard side, and it flies in this direction. But. I do like how it's laid out. I initially used that control seat there, the fancy all the extra monitors and stuff control seat, but your head position in it is so low, 
you can't see over the lip, the ledge of the window. So on this carrier, I'll just go inside and show you. It's good to have a nice view of I've turned to. I got a lot going on in this on this save, so I also think the the uh, escort carrier not being this is an escort carrier. It, the Casablanca was a class of escort carriers made during World War II. Lightly, like I don't think they even armored at all. Lightly armed, barely armored at all. Uh, I think they may have had splinter protection for the machinery spaces. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on them, but they were basically. We need flat tops in the Pacific, right? We needed them yesterday. So, yeah, so if we look at the view, I can see down more because I'm standing, not sitting. So, uh, not finished, nowhere near finished. Been adding greebles and stuff here and there. Uh, the island was the easiest part to do because it's so small compared to the rest of the ship. Well, let's go check it out. So this is four level. <coughs> Conning station, you know, you got your helmsman's got his own dedicated bathroom here, it's important. Body breaks. Three level is the chief medical officer's office. <clears throat> this is where you find one of the two medical stations. The other one's deep in the ship. Two level is officer's mess. You know, because they have to, you know, they don't eat with the crew. One level is officer's berthing, which is where I woke up. <clears throat> and this is the main deck. This will be your air plotting table. Not that we have air outside to worry about. And then we have the main hangar bay with a big danger, you know, hangar may be depressurized. <coughs> so, we go in here. Hey, it's still pressurized because I have the doors uh, open right now. So, I have an extremely, well, not extremely large. <coughs> it's basically five large blocks so it's about mm, 2.25 times five so it's like 11 11 and a half meters tall no oh, I'm sorry it's more than that it's six <coughs> at the shortest it's six and other spaces it's seven because the other ceiling cutouts here but you can only fit four blocks well not even four blocks three and a half through the doors because the doors only open to four blocks so yeah, what I'm saying is you could you could fit in some smallish, large grid ships or you know some pretty decent uh, small grid ships in here. It seems like my f deck's not quite level. You seeing that too? It looks like we're slightly canted to. Oh darn! I need I need to I need signage to know which way I'm pointing here. Uh, towers that side. <coughs> so that's front. That's the bow. It looks like we're slightly tilted. We got a slight list to, to port right now. Probably we're not lined up totally on the docking connector. Anyway, let's show off the magnum opus of this thing. We're going to start depressurizing the bay here. I got to label these buttons. Alright, so that. <coughs> Should be, yeah, it's depressurizing the space. I have four air handlers with four oxygen tanks that are, no, they're not pulling, okay. Oh, they are pulling, okay, good. <coughs> four air handlers on four oxygen tanks that are not plumbed into the rest of the conveyor grid at all. So when you depressurize the bay, the air is not wasted. It goes into these mostly empty oxygen tanks. So you don't waste the air when you blow the doors. You can still blow the doors. Nothing keeping you from doing it. Not, there's no timer blocks or program blocks or anything fancy on this ship. I haven't figured out how to use timer blocks and sequences at all. I should probably get on doing that because that's when the game really starts getting fun for you. <coughs> so it looks like we're... Getting close to 50% here. Or we can just pop up here and look at these secondary air handlers. I put these in here so in case you do blow the blow the hangar open, you can still you're still plumbed on the grid. So you can use these backup air handlers, so I have two of them. To repressurize the bay manually. 
Nothing pull me helmet off, I'll be dead. So we'll wait for the animation to finish there. I'm thinking we're done. So right now, those oxygen tanks aren't even 50% full. So I probably could have used just two tanks. Two tanks and four vents, maybe just one tank. <coughs> so every so often I'll go up to those backup vents, I'll turn them on to try to pressurize the bay. Those vents will still depressurize, so they just yank that oxygen right out of the room. You know, top them off and stuff. I did manage to fill up the hydrogen tanks on this thing. Yeah, it's 24, it's 12, it's 6 on a side. It's 24 hydrogen tanks. And I only have 24 O2H2 generators. I need more. I need lots more. It's not enough. It's totally not enough. Now we'll open those doors up. Just painted them yellow. It's supposed to be... I wish hazard stripes... I wish hazard stripes applied to doors like they do for other blocks, but they don't. <coughs> So now we're down at the, yeah, this is the bow end of the ship because the drill's here. So we're on the nose. And the gravity generator is pretty much in the center of the ship. And we're outside the well. So once you get, you know, into the bay, you're fine. That's how big the ship is. It's, you know, it's over 400, it's over 150 meters long. Which doesn't sound like a whole lot. But, uh, you know, she's, she's, uh, I've done bigger. <laughs> it's not the point that it's bigger or not. It's just, I don't know, it's going along. I like it. It's growing on me. It was ugly. Like these, these kind of, they're not almost curved. These are not, the hole itself basically stops right here. This is the outer wall of the hangar bay. So all this is projection. It's a blister basically. And in the blisters on both sides I have this what I call annex. I have the this is the starboard annex and you have the port side annex under the hangar under or under the under the island. This is similar to how the G29 carrier does things. They have an area on the main hull. I think it's split into two levels. Nicely done. To give you more working space, living space on board the ship. That's how they do it. They treat this blister area down here this, you know, on the, like, just below the main deck, you know, stuck on the, <coughs> stuck on the starboard side of the, side of the ship as living space. Well, if you're an officer on the Casablanca, you live in the island. If you're a crew, you live in the annex down below, near the hangar bay. I mean, there's no way I'm going to have, like, I think this thing has eight or nine beds in it. There's no way I'm going to have that many people playing at the same time with me. I think three is enough. What I don't have to support multiplayer are, uh, Curapods yet. But the ship's not done. Let's check out the blisters. So this is the port side. You can tell because the way that it is. It's also red. It's also marked. And this is something I did so you could actually like see that docking clamp and tell when you're lined up. So this controls engines, gyros, thrusters, docking control. This is cruise mass, more cruise like overflow seating area, and you got some windows overlooking the working area of the ship, you know, where all the action happens. Oh yeah, I should probably no, that's because that's that's G29. It's not docked. This is docked. Spotlight, searchable, uh, searchlights, kind of aimed all over the place to light up the bay. This ship is a lot darker than 
the Chi-29 carrier is, and I'm not entirely sure why. The starboard side, because it's green. And you can overlook that docking connector, too. This is... I haven't filled this in yet. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I got lockers kind of everywhere. And this is where the crew sleeps. I got a oh, whopping five beds. Yep, five crew for this thing. They got their own... They got their own bathroom. Then they have a bathroom shower unit kind of tucked in here. You know, because, you know, clean crew is a happy crew. No one likes working next to Private Snuffy when he's, you know, got like four days worth of BO going. And you're having to swing wrenches next to this guy. Other mods that I have installed, I have these advanced batteries, these green glowy bits here. They're not super OP compared to standard batteries. But if I was to spawn this into a no mods. Uh, world, these would delete. And also, the building repairs here would also delete. Which means I'm wondering how much of these stairs would survive. <coughs> Other things I got going on shields. I got the shield mod going. So that's definitely a plus. Not much else. Oh, yeah, gravity generator is technically upside down, bolted to the ceiling, kind of. I have yet. Yeah, as I've mentioned probably a billion times already, I've yet to... I don't I don't have this thing greebled up and detailed up yet. It's already sitting at 32,000 BCU, so... Yeah, anywho. But I like it. I think I did an okay job with it. Let's close the bay doors and repressurize. Oops. That was just... I gotta actually hit the button. Oh, that's right. This one's not done yet. I won't do that. I'll just go... I'll be lazy and go to the one that is done. That's right. I don't have it. They're not set to toggle. It's open or shut on a, on two separate buttons. You can't mess it up. It's foolproof. It's so foolproof, even I ain't messed it up. Alright, so that should be their handlers turning on now. Yes, I see the air coming in now. It's kind of bright up in the ceiling. Not very bright on the deck. Oh, well, you can hide the dust from your chief so he doesn't yell at you. There is one... There it is. Found it. I get lost in my own ship. <laughs> so this is like part storage. i got to change these light intensities here. This is also... This is going to be another medical office. I'll have like, I don't know, sick bay beds or something. And your other recharge point. So in case the, the tower gets completely obliterated, you can spawn in in the bowels of the ship, at least. Don't know how much the ship's going to be worth flying after that, after the, the island gets blasted off. But uh, All right, we're low oxygen, low temps. Okay. <coughs> okay. Only this side goes up into the island, the other side doesn't go up anywhere. I could put a recessed cutout into the flight deck <coughs> with an airlock. Oh yeah, other mod, rotary airlocks. Get airlocks with only one block worth of stuff. It's great. I love it. So what I might end up doing is right around here somewhere. It would be right around here. As I might have a ramp going down into the accessing off of that ladder well that ran uh, side to side. Amidships. It's roughly amidships. It's right about here. It's an even number of blocks in terms of length and width and height. <coughs> Usually I do odd. For stuff, so I have an actual center block, like a center keel block. This is all even based because it's split into basically four quarters. Was what I ended up building was all the machinery spaces that run along inside this blister and mirrored it, which means I end up with doubles of everything, so that's even numbering. And then I did it again over here, and I decided to make it even numbering across. Well, it's everything I did, everything evening. It's, you know, it's 
Normally what I end up doing for all my other ships, like we'll just look at my destroyer. My destroyer is odd. So I have a center line block. Makes it easy. Also makes the conning tower make more sense because it's actually on the center of the ship, on the center line. I'm not sure if the ship is actually even like lengthwise. Normally the one that really matters to me is the width. Everything I do pretty much is based off odd uh, stuff. This is the one exception that I did. Can't say I'm a fan of even splitting. Because that made putting these dashed lines here on the on the deck, you know, they're they're too thick. <laughs> if I make them single wide, then it looks off. If I put them double wide, they look too thick. So I was like, well, I make them longer now, then they'll, they'll work. But yeah, I'm still working on it. It's not done. I keep saying that like it like no one's heard me. Well, let's let's dock cost this uh, escort carrier. This whatever they call this thing. I think they just call it a carrier. It is a really nice ship. Let's go tour this island to see the huge difference in creative genius between my efforts and this guy's efforts. It is amazing. So I took this uh, design element for his stairwells. I didn't use the uh, half angled blocks. I used like the 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 two by one tips. But yeah, just lots of like you know changing the paint color everywhere. Lots of interior blocks because it saves weight. This thing actually doesn't weigh as much as you think. Neither does mine. We got some armory blocks here. We got tasteful use of the passageway blocks, which I'm still trying to figure out how to use appropriately. Another armory block, and then we're looking forward. Yep, because island's on the right side. Starboard side. So yeah, lots of window portholes everywhere. It's, it gives it Plus, the lighter paint colors gives it more of an open... Like, where's the lights coming from? Just that light block there, and that's it. And it seems way more lit than my ship. Because the lighter the block, the more ambient light shows up. Plus, I mean, it is sunny outside. So, vent blocks to kind of break up a space. Nice little lounge area. So, their island is even numbered. It's only two blocks across on the inside. This would be, this looks like docking controls. Not that I can see anything from here. I can't actually see the docking connector from here. Oh, you can't even control docks. Oh, it's like, okay, you can't even, well, what is this guy doing? Can't park. But I can control I can control the, the spots. So I can aim around here. I don't know if these dudes are set up to look around. Idle movement. And a little crew area here. Armory, lockers, planters, more lockers. I mean, it really doesn't look like, like what the space does. But this is one of the top decks. And then you go up another one. And you're at the flight deck. So curious usage of sloped surfaces everywhere. Windows up here, kind of neat. Now we're engaged. That should that should uh, keep the ship from wanting to jiggle around a bit. Yeah, they got this. You could have put a, a, a chair here if you wanted, but then you know. Running down the stairs, you bang into it, so that's not that's not cool. All right, let's go down here. All right, so now we're in part of the blister, the actual main hull of the ship itself. Oh, industrial ship, huh? Where are you going, guy? You're zipping away. I'll let you go. Now we're down into the lower part of the blister. You can tell because of the way that it is. This is like the main living space, of the main living part of the ship. Everyone lives and works down here, so we got a Glang Cola. We got a mess deck, some tins to increase crew morale. We got a much larger kitchen area than what I have. 
two kitchen blocks, two bars, you know, grab some drinks, some snacks, some coffee, because no crew's going to live off of coffee. If you notice all the green textures are kind of muted, it's because I have a mod that mutes them and doesn't make them so violently lit when they're on or off. It just kind of desaturates them a little bit. This is your med bay office. So they used a, de a de uh, desk here as a pillar. It's kind of neat. I like it. There's your main cargo bay. You'll see which elements I liberally stole from this ship's ideas. I got planters everywhere. Not that they do anything, but they're cool. And then this kind of wraps around. This little island here wraps around. And oh, you got a little window looking up into part of the superstructure, the island. So how do you get in the hangar bay? Well, I'll show you. Just hold on a minute. Just wait, you hold your horses. Okay. This has a zone block on it. That's pretty cool. So there upstairs above the hangar bay area is really busy. Really well done. I like it. Lots of grebe detailing everywhere. I mean, you got panels that do uh, railings and panel. What? They don't do anything. They, they're not. They're not useful at all. But they look cool. Which I guess is the point. Your zone block sitting here in the middle. This is the center line of the ship. So yes, it is odd numbering. I like it. You got cargo containers. Not much in the ship, actually, I don't think. Actually, might have... The build and repair units probably grabbed some stuff off of passing things that I hauled in here. Uh, ice and ice holds. Yep. Okay. Cool. Alright. So, it doesn't normally come with a bunch of stuff and doesn't come with build and repair either. Where did I put the build and repairs? I had to work how to fit those in here. And I... Th where did I... Oh, they're on this side. They're all up here. There is a void space above the refineries on the port side of the ship. This is port side. So I was like, oh, perfect. I can, I can stuff in some building repairs in here and be done with it. Because the void space that would be above these refineries is taken up by deck plating for the cruise area. So I can't use that side. I built, I used, put build and repair into my design when I did it from scratch. I didn't craft them in. I purposely laid them out like that. So if I download this and don't have it, my conveyor network's all broken up, but oh well. These are tacked on as afterthoughts, which of course pushes the PCU count above 20,000. That's fine. So they use a similar setup, but they got the button panels here. They got their own vents. I don't know if they did a similar thing where they have their oxygen tanks not plumbed into the system, but they can just drain from it. I don't think they do, so I'm not going to blow the doors. But yeah, they got a much better stair catwalk arrangement going on here than what I've... Well, I'm not done with mine either, but they got stuff going everywhere. And then I got stuff that's inaccessible, but you can look in through this window and say, Oh, look, the hydrogen tanks are full. Oh, that's why I had the ship undocked. I was pulling hydrogen from the base to plus up the um, Casablanca, and when I did that, I didn't want to pull from this ship or my my miner, so that's why I pulled that. That or my ice that I pulled in has been really busy. So yeah, G29 carrier. I don't remember the name of the guy who did it. I will put that in the video description. It's a nice ship. I kind of want to test this out on multiplayer. It's not armed. It's virtually unarmored. I mean, the armoring you see here is light box, and it's all just for appearance sake, really. It's a beautiful ship. I really like it. It's very well done. My putrid efforts at trying to copy it, well, my build aesthetic is gray boxes, so... <laughs> So I lose points for that. But this one's actually armed. It's also not multiplayer friendly at all. 
and is over 30, it's like 3200, 32,000 PC. But what I do like is I thought this needed some, it could use some, some greeble elements. I'm not sure we'd put them probably off of these slope blocks here. But the fact that the tower is even split, it's only four blocks across at the widest point. Where would you put our tower? See, my island is odd numbered. It's five blocks across, so it's easy to just put something in the center line. You know, ore detector, got the laser transmitter array thing, got some antennas, only one's active. Then I got some other stuff that's kind of, you know, evocative of like radar or something, or sensors or something like that. Yeah, we don't really have like a ship sensor that a separate block. It's just you have it or you don't. It's not something you can build. It's your suit that does all that. Uh, if you'll notice, this thing has atmospheric thrusters too. This thing will work in plan. Luca the guy did a video about the ship in greater detail than I can ever hope to do. And this thing will fly in atmosphere. Not really sure about how it's supposed to land. But you can fly it. I suppose if you deleted a couple... How much is a landing gear? How much BCU is that? 35? Alright, so you wanted to keep it under 20,000 P... Or at 20,000 PCU still. You just delete some grebes off the side. Like these neon tubes could probably go away. I mean, it saves you... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's eight right there. So you do that on you do that on all four corners because you got this little like stylus looking U thing here. And then there's some neon down here. You could scrub some of that off, and then put a landing gear or two down. Boom! You know you could actually lock the ship onto a planet and save power and fuel from having to hover the whole time. There's your ore detector. I wonder if they have more than one ore detector. Probably delete on that too. You know, you don't have to have more than one of these guys. You just get. Oh, you have 40. So if you have another word detector sitting here doing a bunch of nothing, delete that. Boom, landing gear. No problem. So, anywho, that's what I got for you today on this wonderful January 2nd. Is my huge collection of lagginess stuff that's running next to a rock. So I'll catch you all later. Y'all have a wonderful Monday.